What part of your brain do you use when you're being creative? Imagination. Imagination, yes. And that's exactly what these students at the Summit Academy are learning to use. It's part of a new program by the Fund for the Arts that partners professional actors like Neil Robertson with local schools. It's just really fantastic to see kids open up and express themselves in a certain way. I love coming to Summit Academy just because they're so incredibly smart and so creative and uh, they really are fearless too. Sometimes you have trouble getting kids to kind of warm up to what you're doing and, and open up. But the, the Summit kids are just so quick to, to jump into every single activity that we do. The Summit Academy in Louisville provides services for approximately 120 kids ages four years old to ninth grade who have learning differences like ADHD and autism. The opportunity for us to work with trained professionals in the arts uh, is unique um, and is something that absolutely enhances the educational experience that we try to provide to all of our students. As an actor, what tools do you think you need? And I'll give you a hint. Um, we all have them right now. We all had them the moment we woke up, and we all had them the day we were born. Mouth? Your mouth is part of your what? Oh, body? Your body, yes. You need a body to be an actor. What the else? students not only learn the fundamentals of acting, but get to see it in action. It's ranged from a production of Johnny Appleseed here on our site to uh, a show that we watched uh, at Walden Theater. The acting class also provides a unique way for these students to explore learning beyond the books and regular classroom curriculum. It's really, really beneficial to the students that um, when we are able to come in and kind of let them explore a different side of themselves. And also, you know, we do a lot of um, programs that, is, that are supplemental where we help them explore history through theater, explore math through theater, explore science through theater. And so um, it's, it's a really great alternative way to kind of um, explore all kinds of uh, educational things. The program is funded through a partnership with the Fund for the Arts and Coast Air Charities. Tomorrow night, we will wrap up our series with a look at how the program is helping local children find their voice in the community. Jennifer Bayless, WLKY News.